Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse in a DOV degree medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really happen all that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, guys, let's jump into the video. Hi, everyone. How are you guys doing? And like you see on your screen, this is all about nursing theories and theorists, your ultimate guide. If you haven't watched the other videos I created under this playlist of nursing theories, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out, check the one out because I'll be putting it there together with the other playlist I have on my channel. Now, you guys, I would really, really like to... Um, What's this? Thank all of you guys who's the new subscribers to the channel. We've been really, really growing so fast this month. And we're, I believe, I hope, and I really hope, I believe that we can make it to 20,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And none of that will be uh, possible if it wasn't because all of your your help. So keep on sharing, keep on liking, um, spreading the news about my channel that certain channels on YouTube exist. I want this channel, the ultimate vision of this channel is for you to have your ultimate, this is going to be your ultimate um, nursing go-to resource, uh, YouTube classroom slash um, uh, what's this information or data source whenever you try to study your or refresh study and um, if there's something some concepts in nursing that you don't know yet I want this channel to be your number one go-to you know what I mean so yeah um, help me make this channel as bigger as it can get because the bigger the channel grows the bigger the subscribers that means the better the contents quality so uh, just so you know guys um, our latest statistics as of the moment is that more than 56% of you guys are actually um, who's watching my channel are not subscribed yet so it will really really help and I appreciate it if you can subscribe hit the notification bell and um, you know start to spread the news about my channel share it to your social media accounts um, uh, don't forget to tag me because I also have basically everything everything is at neil gave except for my tiktok which is neil gave official so um without further ado i would just like to proceed now nursing theories and theories today i'm gonna give you five nursing theories and their theorists okay um if you want me to do a thorough deep dive on each theories and their works you let me know on the comment section because that's going to be a different discussion all right so here it is so the first one is Georgine Gaskill, X, Mary Lerman Burke, and Margaret A. Hainsworth. All right, there's so there's three theories. Um, what are their contributions to nursing? So they are the one who pioneered the theory of chronic sorrow. Mm. What is this all about? It's all about chronic sorrow is the presence of pervasive grief-related feelings that have been found to occur periodically throughout the lives of individuals with chronic health conditions, their family, caregivers, and bereaved and the bereaved. Furthermore, it also this uh, deal this theory deals with middle range theory defines the aspect of chronic sorrow as a normal response to the ongoing disparity created by loss. So more on loss grieving process. Once again, this is George Gaskell Eakes, Mary Lerman Burke, and Margaret A. Hainsworth, the pioneers or the theories for chronic sorrow. All right, let's proceed. Phil Barker. Now, it's the first time actually that I've seen a male theorist, you know? So here it is. Um, what does Phil Barker contribute to um, nursing? Well, he pioneered the, uh, the Barker's title model of mental health recovery is widely used in mental health and nursing. So sa lahat ng mga mental, okay, psychiatric nursing, th that's what we're talking about. So... To explain to you about uh, Barker's style model, it's all it focuses on nursing's fundamental care processes, 
um, is universally applicable and is practical guide for psychi- psychiatry and mental health nursing. Also, according to Barker, draws on values about relating to people and help others in their moments of distress. The values of the title model are revealed in 10 commitments. Tari, di ba? Parang 10 commandments lang. Kamukha niya actually si Moses. Charing. Now, value the voice, respect, and language. Develop genuine curiosity. Become the apprentice. Use the available toolkit. Craft the step beyond. Give the gift of time. Reveal personal wisdom. Know that change is constant. And be transparent. Once again, this is the work of Phil Barker. Now, before I further proceed with the third theories of the day, baka hindi ka pa subscribe. I'm going to give you time. Do it now. There you go. That's so quick, right? All right. Thank you so much for subscribing to the show and to the channel. Here we go. We have Catherine Kalkoba or Kalkaba. Kolkaba, I'm sorry. Let me say that one more time. Catherine Kolkaba. Oh, diba? Ano naman tong ginawa niya? According to Catherine, siya ang nagpromotor ng theory of comfort. Diba? Comfort. Ano bang comfort sa Tagalog? I don't know, but comfort. All right. So this theory talks about comfort is an antidote to the stressors inherent in the healthcare situations today. And when comfort is enhanced, patients and families are strengthened for the tasks ahead. Also, nurses feel more satisfied with the care they are giving. Hence, we're providing comfort to our patients. Right, let's say patients in pain, we give non-pharmacological treatments, gentle ROM, positioning, those kind of stuff, deviating attentions, um, or it's either we're going to promote, we're going to give or administered um, pain medications as ordered. Comfort. Part of comfort is explain to the, explaining the procedure or certain procedures to the family so that it will, you know, um, decrease their level of anxiety and promotes rapport and, um, you know, cooperation. Okay, so that's comfort. Um, in addition to this, patient comfort exists in three forms, relief, ease, and transcendence. These comforts can occur in four contexts, physical, uh, psycho-spiritual, environmental, and social-cultural. All right? So that's theory of comfort. Lastly, as patients' comfort needs change, the nurses' interventions change as well. So it is like um, directly proportional to the patient's level of comfort and needs, all right? So you also, your nursing interventions also varies. Once again, this is the body of work of Catherine Kolkaba. Malina ba tayo doon? Malina, let's proceed. Ito na, Cheryl Tatano Beck. So si Cheryl Tatano Beck, as you see, she's the promoter or she's the, um, uh, what's this, the leader um, also, she leads the theory of postpartum depression theory, OB. Diba? So, the birth of baby is an occasion for joy, or so the saying goes. But for some women, joy is not an option. Describe nursing as a caring profession with caring obligations to persons we care for, students, and each other. Provides evidence to understand and prevent postpartum depression. When you think about postpartum depression theory, you think about Cheryl Tatano Beck. All right? Malina ba yon? Malina. Last yuri na nga tayo for today. Before I do that, please subscribe now. I'll give you time. Go. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for doing that. Here's our last yuri for today. Christine or Kristen M. Swatson. So let me introduce you to Kristen. If you haven't known her, so this is the time that you will be familiarized with Miss Swatson's work. So she promoted the theory of caring. Theory of caring, you're automatically thinking about Kristen Swatson. So this talks about caring is a nurturing way of relating to a valued other, uh, to a valued other toward whom, who, uh, whom one feels a personal sense of commitment and responsibility. There's two components of caring, commitment and responsibility. It makes sense nga naman. So let's discuss. Defines nursing as informed caring for the well-being of others. Informed caring for the well-being of others. Meaning the patient's families are aware or the community if you're 
talking about the community health nursing is aware that you are a nurse and you're there to care for them. All right. Now, offers a structure for improving up-to-date nursing practice, education, and research while bringing the discipline to its traditional values and caring healing roots. Once again, this is The Theory of Caring by Kristen M. Swatson. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You let me know if, if you have other nursing topics you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan mo ngayong upload natin this coming Wednesday because that's going to be uh, for the first time in a long time we're gonna have a uh, uh, what's this MS medical surgical uh, topic. I'm so excited. It's about bacterial meningitis. I'm gonna give you a thorough diff di uh, diff dive, deep dive on that disorder, all of that good stuff. MS po. So, uh, tulungan nyo na nga ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira ang pinakabago, pinakafresh at ang pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. And don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gabe Official. I do have a podcast channel. It's 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Gabe. Check the one out. You have a good one.